My name is Roshan Sarkar. I am a second year student of the Department of Mechanical Engineering enrolled in its B.Tech course. I am a boarder of Acharya Jagdish Chandra Bose Hall of Residence. I am from Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. I am contesting for the post of General Secretary Students Welfare Technology Student Jim Khanna, Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur for the academic session 2022 to 2023. Ro Roshan, I noticed that you said that you are contesting for the post of GSEC Welfare. Can you elaborate what are the necessary actions in type 1 crisis? Elaborate the necessary actions in type 1 crisis. Also state what is that crisis? So, this question is completely irrelevant to my introduction. You so are contesting for the post of GSEC welfare. Who yes. does crisis management? So How is it irrelevant so to your candidature? So, in my introduction, the questions that will be entertained will be only related to my introduction. This question... Why did you state the post you are contesting sir, for in your introduction me, then? Sir, let me complete. This question... This question should be a part of the statement of purpose. In the introduction... Did you state sir, your post yes, in sir, your introduction? State, yes, sir. I did state that I'm contesting for the post of General Secretary Students Welfare. Does General Secretary Students Welfare handle Roshan, crisis management? why did you management? mention your hometown in your introduction? Does General Secretary no, Students Welfare handle crisis management? Why did you mention your hometown management? in the introduction? Are you saying so, that GSEC Welfare does not handle crisis management? The reason why I mentioned the hometown introduction... Are you saying that, that GSEC Welfare does not handle crisis management? As panelists, no, on introduction, no follow-ups, only questions. So, I find it necessary to mention the name the hometown of my introduction because it has played a vital role in shaping me what I am today, which is the reason why I mentioned it in my introduction. Roshan, why did you mention your roll number? So, the introduction is supposed to be short and precise. When I mention that I am a second year student of the Department of Mechanical Engineering enrolled in his B.Tech course. It gives out the fact that I am a member here and the roll number plays no role. Roshan, you are contesting for the post of GSEC Students Welfare TSG. However, you have not met even one of the GSEC Students Welfare who are currently holding that portfolio. What kind of arrogance is this? Sir, before you make such an assumption, Please get your facts right, as I met Mr. Nikhil Kumar right in the, in the evening. Correct. Roshan, Who can is you the tell correct position, position holder? Roshan, can you tell me why did you mention your all of residents in your introduction? Only one question for panelists. Can you mention? Is Nikhil, is Nikhil the current GSEC student welfare? You said you have just talked to him. Ma'am, can you please repeat the question? You said that you have talked to Nikhil, right? Is he the current GSEC student's welfare? You have not talked to even one of the GSEC student welfare. Ma'am, again, I'll tell you to get your facts right. As I have met Miss Jerry Portla Sindhu, who is the present General Secretary Students Welfare? Are you saying this on record that you have met her? You have not met her. Neither have you met or no, even texted Bosle Shivam Praveen. Please do not lie on the mic. Please do not lie on the mic. Please, please hold some sanctity for whatever position. Let me complete. Let me complete. I have. You are lying on the mic, dude. I have had a conversation regarding it and I have met her. So please, before you, you start have not met her. please get your facts right. You have not met her. So basically you have still met neither of the current position holders. You don't.
uh, Roshan, now you can move forward with your statement of purpose. The General Secretary Student Welfare demands a leader, a charismatic leader with managerial, organizational, and communication skills with the qualities of innovation, creativity, and one should also be approachable. Also, the person needs to be mature enough to investigate the situation accordingly and act. And lastly, the leader should have integrity. As Dwight D. Eisenhower once said, the supreme quality of a leader is unquestionably the integrity. Without it, the leader is of no use, be it on the school level or in our office. The reason why I'm contesting for the post of General Secretary Students Welfare solely lies in the, po in the activities that I've done in the past 20 years. Ever since my school days, I've always been an active member in the field of welfare, not, and I've done welfare not just for the students, but also for the people around me. Reason why I have been trusted with the post of school president of a Rotary Club, where I've held a fundraising event, which raised over rupees 30,000 and had over 500 people participating in it. I have been also trusted with the post of school captain, where I was responsible for over 3,000 students. I have also got an article published on Danik Bhaskar, which spoke about the importance of counseling and mental health. In the end, my entire journey was supported by my parents, and I believe that my parents have played an integral role as they have always been supportive and have taken me to different charity events. In the end, if there's anything I've learned, it is the fact that the ultimate source of happiness comes from doing welfare for the people. Kabi, kabi kisi ka bhala karke dekho. Kabi kisi ka bhala karke to dekho. Jitni khushi us insaan ko nahi milegi, usse zyada tumko khud ko milne wali hai. My drive for doing welfare did not stop even after I entered this prestigious institute as I have held multiple events. I have done, I have held a charity event where I raised over rupees, sum of rupees 9,000 in the span of five days single-handedly using freelancing as a tool. I have also held a Discord server where I have held multiple events starting from karaoke nights, movie nights, comedy events, and also a webinar on mental health and its importance. I have also played an integral role in a support group named Aurolingo, where it looked after, the initiative was to tackle the issues that a student faces, in, especially in communication and interaction. Last, but not the least, I have also been a part of multiple events such as movie nights and karaoke nights. Lately, I have also been trusted with the post of Secretary Students Welfare of Acharya Jagdish Chandra Bose Hall of Residence, where I was given the duty to ensure and enhance the well-being of my hallmates. I have, I am also a part of English Technology Dramatic Society Encore and Technology Filmmaking and Photography Society TFPS. These societies I have played a very vital role in multiple events. For Encore, I have been a part of the Freshest Production where uh, I have been the protagonist of the Freshest Production, and I've also made the trailer. The, later, I have also played a, the role of an antagonist in the upcoming production, which was named as The Restaurant. I have also played a vital role in the street play and the monologue. In the technology, filmmaking, and photography society, I have taken part in the, in the Freshest Production movie, and I've also played a vital, and I'm also currently the mentor of this year's Freshest Production. I am also, I have also held the position of Motion Graphics Designer 
for Pro Vakil and IELTS at TV, where I have eventually climbed the ranks of the social media manager. I have held the position of operations manager at at Con7 Media, and I'm currently undergoing product management intern at at Simplex Esports. Lastly, if anyone asks me, why do you want to contest for the post of General Secretary Students Welfare? My answer to them is simple. Why not? If a person has the managerial experience, why not? If a person has the grit, the will, and the determination to fulfill the duties, why not? Lastly, if a person can take the initiatives and improve the well-being of the community he's a part of, then why not? Nearby, I conclude my statement of purpose by declaring the fact that if I get elected as the General Secretary Students Welfare, I will fulfill all the duties and bring order to this post. Roshan, now that you have finally delivered your statement of purpose, can you elaborate the necessary actions? Can you elaborate the necessary actions? Can you repeat the question? Can you elaborate the necessary actions on Typhoon Crisis? Roshan, can you elaborate the necessary actions on Typhoon Crisis? Roshan, sir, thank you so much for... I feel really honored that you find myself worthy for not just one position, but also the, for the position of General Secretary, Social and Cultural. But as of now, I believe that my contribution in the field of welfare would be more with the experience that I have. But still, thank you very much for considering me a valuable candidate for the position of General Secretary, Social and Cultural. Roshan, you mentioned that a GSEC student welfare should be innovative. So in what sort have you been innovative? Like, so ma'am, regarding your question, so uh, the academic session 2020 to 2021 was purely online. And there were very less recreational activities that took plot. So to tackle all those issues, I've held multiple online events on Discord and, give, and done welfare. Roshan, you have claimed that you have worked for the welfare of the students. But why haven't you been part of SWG or IWG, the official welfare society of IIT KGP? Sir, the last time I checked the rules, there was no such there was no such regulations that one has to be a part of either of the two societies, student welfare group or institute wellness group, to be a part to be even contest for the post of General Secretary Students Welfare. I am not talking about a condition. I am saying if you are so much interested in the welfare of the students, why haven't you think of that in your first and second year? Sir, in the end, that is up to my personal preference. And the, the fact that I'm not a part of either of the societies doesn't undermine the fact that I've done welfare in this field. Uh. Roshan, can you tell me what were the initiatives you took for the betterment of the student community uh, when you lost Roshan, the Roshan, you mentioned that you are doing an intern When you right lost now, the elections for the secretary of the community in crisis. Roshan, are, are you, you legally permitted to do it? Let me, let me finish my question. Let Roshan, me finish my question and he can come to you. Can, I, I started the question so it is, he should be the one to answer my question Roshan, first, right? You, Roshan, can you mention the Roshan, steps you took? For the Roshan. betterment of the welfare of the student community in IIT KGP after you lost the elections. Sir, Roshan, Roshan are you legally permitted Roshan, to do an intern right now? I can hear your question completely. Roshan, you are doing an illegal activity. Are you legally permitted to do an intern? Sir, sir. Answer this. Sir, he was the one who asked the question first, so I'll answer to, this, to his question first. So can you please repeat your question again? I am saying that what were the initiatives which you took you, after you lost the elections for the Secretary of Community and Crisis in your second year? Sir, so after I lost the elections which were held in the month of August, I have been a part of this support group named Aurolingo. And over there, I had a tenure of three months. Then after that, the campus reopened and I came to this prestigious institution where in immediately, which is from January 14th, I took over as the responsibility of Secretary Students' Welfare of Acharya Jagdish Chandra Bose Hall of Residence. So ever since I lost the elections, I have all I have been an active member in the welfare community. Roshan, 
what is the composition of the students welfare committee ma'am the composition of the students welfare committee is the vice president of technology shri jim khana the general secretary students welfare both male and female secretary community and crisis secretary academic help and general secretary students welfare of all roshan 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 you have already lost an election in your first year roshan, how can we be, be sure that you will position. fulfill your duties roshan you mentioned your, wrong if you elected as you check students you welfare roshan roshan my yeah. question is you have already lost an election in your first year how can we be sure that you will fulfill your duties like you can move ahead with your proposals you can so, move ahead with your proposals you can move ahead with your proposals you mentioned wrong composition dude do have some respect for whatever position you are contesting this is extreme disrespect before you read your proposals you mentioned you wrong composition you know proposals. nothing about crisis yeah, management you need to read out his proposals roshan you Devaki, can go a candidate in the elections just gave some information which might be wrong let's resolve this first the proposals that i have are as follows proposal number 1 creation of avocation communities the objective behind it is to is the introduction of avocation communities which will be open for all the students be it undergraduates post graduates or even research scholars of indian institute of technology kharagpur the purpose is to ensure that the students interested in a certain avocation have access to an active community around them to encourage learning and exposure as an active member of on core do you here standing on stage say like that request the panelists to behave with quiet diligence like he is reading out his proposals first of he all he is reading out his proposals dekhi, 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 he is dekhi. reading out his proposals like we have announced that 5 minutes for introduction 5 minutes for statement of purpose and devki devki just a second proposal. just a second roshni just a second number roshan two. just a second proposal okay. proposal number 2 to increase the interconnectivity between the counseling center and various halls of residence the objectives are to bridge the trust gap between the counseling center and students and to create awareness regarding various benefits that the students community can avail from the institute uh, we the don't purpose have behind this to build a network between the counseling center and the general secretary students welfare of all the halls of residence to engage the counselors at a hall level and build a sense of trust amongst the students towards the counseling center and last but not the least to ensure that no student backs out from seeking medical help due to logistic issues <laughs> proposal number 3 improvement in women hygiene and convenience objective is to renovate the toilets across the girls halls of residence wherever necessary to ensure the working of sanitary dispensers or the already existing sanitary dispensers across the institute and to initiate a night canteen which is accessible in terms of distance to the female population of the students community the purpose is to eliminate the existing problem of disease related to hygiene in girls halls of residence and to create accessible avenues for women to get food after midnight safely roshan roshan i have a question on your proposal 3 can you hear me Do you know that there are night canteens in MT Hall and RLB Hall? Have you spoken to the representatives from those halls? Do you think they are not accessible to women on the campus? Ma'am, yes, I'm aware of the fact that there are new night there is a night canteen in both the halls, but then a male cannot enter either of the halls of residences, which is a inconvenience for them for the female because lastly, if they want to interact. lastly if they want to go out with the uh, male friends they have to go to the acharya jagdish chandra bose hall of residences night canteen or homi jahangir baba hall of residences night canteen which are pretty far away which are pretty far away and not in the proximity of one neither of the halls of residence roshan as an active member of onco do you hear i have a follow up please stop 
Uh, Roshan, you think Tikka is really like closer. I mentioned earlier, follow-ups are not allowed on proposals. Okay, uh, Roshan, on your first proposal, you are planning to create an evocation community which will not come under Jim Khana, right? So how do you plan to hire the trainer and fund it? So, so regarding this, there will be the, all the avocation communities that we look forward to build in the academic session 2022 to 2023, which we, the number is at least five avocation communities as such. So we are looking forward to build an umbrella organization for all those and then get the funding approved accordingly from the Gymkhana. Roshan, do you know that one of your proposals of having a meet with counselors and students at the hall level is already in process in the current academic sessions? Have you even talked to the current position holders regarding this or not? Sir, first things first, please refrain from uh, questioning any such things as I have consulted the present position holders and if you read my proposals again, this is to ensure that the counsellors of the counselling centre connect with the general secretaries of students welfare and the wing representatives on a personal level so that any issue that is being raised by the students that come under them can be addressed accordingly because one of the main and one of the most important things that a counselling centre needs to maintain is the anonymity. Roshan, as an active member of ONCO, do you hear standing on stage say that ONCO is a biased society and it selflessly, selfishly neglects people who are interested in dramatics. And if yes, how many times have you raised this concern? I want a Boolean answer. Sir, can you please repeat a question once more? In your proposal, you have written that society does not promote those who do not have skills and are interested. So as part of being an onco, do you hear standing on stage say that onco is a biased society and it does such activities? Sir? Please refrain again from asking such questions because if you read the current scenario, sir, let me complete. If you read the current scenario, I'll read it out again. People who are interested in certain fields but are not proficient enough are often neglected by the various societies. So it exactly makes, what we are makes, asking. It makes, exactly also, what we are asking. Sir, please let me complete. Please let me complete. So also the societies that are recognized by Jim Khanna have a restriction in the number of people that can, they can take. Did you use the word neglect? Sir, please let me complete. Let me complete my answer, sir. Please let me complete. Sir, so the societies that come under Jim Khanna usually have a certain number restriction. For example, the te English Technology Dramatic Society Encore usually takes roughly around 25 to 30 members every year. And in the end, the only selection criteria for these 25 to 30 people is uh, how proficient they are in the end. In the end, it is virtually impossible for them, for the four governors to actually take care of such a big community, which is the reason why they have such a restriction. So why would you and not just organize a workshop? I haven't completed with my answer. I haven't completed with my answer. Stop interrupting. You have been doing this since the start. Let me complete my answer. You have not even asked, answered the first no, question. I haven't completed my answer this. yet. Sir, let me complete. From you have not start, even answered the first question. Sir, from the start, you have been interrupting and I have been tolerating. Sir, we are, a, sir, we are the students of a respected institute. Please be like Roshan, one. Roshan, don't you think that a GSEC student's welfare should be really em empathetic? And the way you are reacting right now, I don't think so. That's the case. Ma'am. How will ma I come to you and say that I am facing some serious mental problems right now. How will I come when I know that he will just shout at me and just send me away? Ma'am, but at the same time... How will time, anybody present here come to you this way? How will this be done? Ma'am, at the same time, if you really have any such of those mental diseases, then you wouldn't interrupt me in between while I'm completing my answer. I didn't interrupt you. I didn't Roshan, interrupt you. I'm no. not talking about I, you. There was a person in the panel who has been interrupting me since the start. Every time I've been trying to complete an answer. And so you please, didn't interrupt. Please let you me complete my answer every time. time. Then you're free to answer. Then you're free to question anything that you want to. But at first, please let me complete my answer. I have been, in, I have been encouraging questions from every single panelist from the start. But there has been a certain person in the panelist who has been interrupting ever since the start of all the questions okay, that let's I've been Roshan, Roshan, Roshan I let's calm down. Let's calm down and I'll politely ask the first question I asked. 
what is the type 1 crisis because gsec welfare does crisis management and what are the necessary actions politely answer this question so so this question like i said during my introduction was supposed to be asked during my statement of purpose right now we are in the proposal so you don't stage. know the so, answer so please i will only entertain questions related to my proposal roshan you should be brave enough to at least admit what you don't know so i will stick to my point that i will only that the question answer session right now is going on is only related to proposals roshan regarding your second proposal i am assuming you have done your ground work could you just name two counselors that you have contacted in the counseling center so i have counted i have i have consulted the senior counselor dr mohammad abir and i have had a proper two hour session with him and discussed all the problems existing and the potential solutions to them roshan roshan thank you I roshan really for putting forward your introduction roshan, statement of purpose really and proposals the time is up and the next candidate contesting for general secretary student